enough to rattle her. She looked up, tried to look for a ref, no call. She quickly got back on her skates and got into the play. Yeah, it looked like a bit of a hit in a non-contact league, so it was a bit of a surprise, but either way, play went on. Now the Mustangs have the puck in the Toronto end. Nice pass off there as Chiarella, there's a goal, wow! What a beautiful pass in front. I believe that was uh, Ali Barris passing that one across. And finishing the playoff was Rachel Armstrong. And that'll be the first Mustangs goal. But she lost control of that one. That's gonna end up back in the Mustang end. I liked how they were setting up the Isolino passing it back and forth with Torello. And that's a giveaway there. And it's an opportunity here for the Varsity Blues and Maggioni makes a nice move. Or I'm sorry, that was Day. Great move there by Taylor Day. And that is gonna be a Toronto Varsity Blue goal. Nice chip forward by O'Connor. She just couldn't get back onto it. Now coming the other way are the Varsity Blues. Bowering brings the puck in. She pushed it a little too far. And Captain Pearson comes back and gets it. Wait, shot from the point. And that one is in. Wow. What a shot. Katie Jacobs definitely did not see that one. <laughs> and the Varsity Blues take a 2-1 lead. Trying to kick it there to her teammate, Pereira. Now Pereira picks it up. She cuts out around the net, looking for a pass. Does another loop around. Pass it in front to Taylor. Her shot oh. deflected. Scores! Wow! Talk about a reversal. Ooh. Going from almost having a penalty called against to Megan Taylor's goal being deflected in. I'm just gonna say it, Mustang's goal. Points, she sends it in deep, trying to find, I believe that's Strotman. And now that pass out from Kipfer didn't make it, it was blocked in front. Great pass across to Day, and she finishes wow. that one off. What a passing play, Zaluska to Strotman to Day, and that's gonna be a Varsity Blues goal. Yeah, I think it was a chippy game and a very passionate game. There was a lot of emotion, especially with Army scoring her first goal and always the second game of the weekend, you know, you kind of high intensity. So I think uh, the main thing was to just try to keep our emotions intact and kind of convert that to working hard instead of putting ourselves in situations where we kind of let our emotions take over. So I think just staying positive is huge for us and we kind of look towards our leaders to maintain that positivity on the bench and then I think for us as a team, if we can maintain that, that'll probably work best with our success this season. So yeah, we're just trying to stay positive and get the girls going. Uh, it was incredible. I mean, for my first OUA goal, I mean, what a game to score in. And it was a really big momentum builder, considering we did get shut out uh, last game. Uh, unfortunately, they did come back from that, but I feel we, we really progressed as a team throughout the game. And uh, yeah. Um, well, our captains really helped out with that. They really keep us calm. Um, it did get a little out of hand at some points, but I think uh, both teams realized that. And uh, it was a pretty aggressive game, but we all tried to stick together, keep our emotions in check, and um, we only got a couple penalties, so it's not too bad. But um, that really did affect the game, uh, especially their power play goal, and yeah. Well, I think uh, coming off our last game against Toronto, they played us very well on their rink. It's a uh, smaller rinks they use that to their advantage and we're tough on pucks hard on pucks and put a lot of pressure on us it seemed that they kind of had the same game plan this game they're they're very hard on the forecheck all over everything that's loose so i think we just tried to adjust to that system and kind of get used to sending pucks up and it worked in a few situations for us but they're a very hard working team and i think that's kind of uh, what put them over over the level today so <laughs> our goal was really built from the back and go forward. They don't score too much, so I think a strong defense for us really helped us out. Um, they don't also allow a lot of goals against, so that was a struggle for us considering we only scored twice. Um, but I mean, our teamwork, uh, moving the puck quick was a really big factor that we had, and um, unfortunately it wasn't enough, but uh, I think it's good to build on for the next game, and uh, hopefully Laurentian and Nipissing next week and will be a different story.